Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and ready to pick up with our body paragraph number one, the only body paragraph we're going to do for vending machines. We are going to do our first and second lead offs today. So we're gonna, this the second of three parts, we'll finish this, then tomorrow we'll do this third lead off and follow up in the clincher uh, tomorrow. We're gonna do the second, first and second lead offs and follow ups today though. All right, so where we left off, we had just finished with our topic sentence and we were moving into our first lead off. Now, hopefully you remember how we decide what our lead offs are going to be. We're going to look down in the specific topic sentence. And our first one says, vending machines can help pay for our students' education. Okay, so I have to start with some sort of transition word here. I'm going to make this so it's centered because I've got a problem. All right, <laughs> we're going to start with our transition. Okay, so since we're talking about reasons, I think I'm going to use one reason. It's kind of like one example, but we're going to use the word reason instead. So one reason, okay, to install vending machines in our schools is that it will and I don't want to use the same wording I use in my specific topic sentence because otherwise it sounds kind of repetitive. So I think I'm going to use because it will provide our students with more educational opportunities. So it kind of goes along or um, yeah, it'll provide our students with more educational opportunities. Yeah, I think we're good with that. <laughs> it's pretty close to talking about paying for educational, paying for our kids' education, provide our students with more educational opportunities. They kind of go hand in hand. So now we need evidence. So I'm going to go back in my text and look for evidence. I'm looking for evidence that talks about providing our students with more educational opportunities. Okay, looking back here at the top, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use this first follow-up here. The, the proceeds from the vending machines will help pay for after-school clubs, field trips, and programs. It talks about providing with more educational opportunities for our kids help pay for their education. And it's also in the article that we didn't get a lot of evidence from. So by using this particular quote, I'm using that other piece and I don't have to worry about it later on in my body paragraph. So I think I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to split screen here. So give me just a second. I'm going to move myself up. There we go. Okay. I'm going to split screen so I can see both. You can also copy and paste if you want, but I'm going to type it in. We need a tag. Uh, I think I'm going to do the tag at the beginning. I think so I'm going to do. You can use your tag at the end if you want. Again, you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing. It can just be whatever. As long as it's kind of similar, then you'll be okay. All right. Tag. I'm going to do according to the first passage, comma, quotation marks. So there I'm telling where I'm getting my evidence from, and I have my tag. Okay, and then I'm going to say the proceeds, oops, I spelled the word proceeds wrong, seeds from the vending machines would help pay for after school clubs, field trips, and other programs, period, quotation mark. Okay. I'm also going to hop over and in my source box, I'm going to make this bigger here. In my source box, I'm going to put one. 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 Why won't my one work? One. There we go. <laughs> my one wouldn't work. One, because I got that from the first passage. Remember, normally we would number these passages one and two. So this came from the first passage. I'm going to put a one in my source box. Okay, I got my first one done. One reason to install vending machines in our schools is that it will provide our students with more educational opportunities. According to the first passage, the proceeds from the vending machines would help pay for after school clubs, field trips, and other programs. Check, check. All right, let's do the second one. Let's do another reason. Why does the font look bigger? 
That's why this is 11, this is 12. Well, that's going to bother me. Now I got to change it. <sighs> okay. Whatever. We're going to go with it. Okay. Another reason to have vending machines is to, and we're talking here about healthy snacks. Okay. That's what our second one's about. So let's do is to offer students healthy options for snacks. Alrighty. Okay. So now we're talking about healthy snack options. So now I need evidence. I'm going to look back at my article. Don't mind my face there in the background. That's weird. Okay. Looking back in my article, healthy food options was here in paragraph four. Okay, let's do, let's do this one about snack machines. It says, snack machines may contain some standbys like chips and chocolate, but they can also contain apples, granola bars, and low-fat yogurt. Let's use that particular one here. I'm going to scoot it over. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Too much. Too much, Miss Bosnico. Get it together. Come on, girl. Here we go. All right. Uh, tag at the end this time because I did my tag at the beginning. Why is this not typing for me? There we go. Snack machines may contain some standbys like chips and chocolate but they can also, also contain apples, granola bars, and low-fat fart food. <laughs> fart. <laughs> oh, Miss Bosnick is losing her mind. She's been home way too long. Go fat yogurt. Per nope, not period. Quote, comma, quotation mark, because now I need my tag. And let's do as stated in the second text. Boom. Okay, and I'm going to put in my source box a two. Check, check. Done. Guys, we are crushing this. All right, go ahead and make sure you have this part caught up and done. Remember, you can do this uh, a little bit differently if you want. It's totally up to you. But we're going to stop here for today. Tomorrow, we're going to finish this with lead off number three and follow up number three. I encourage you guys, if you want to try lead off three and follow up three completely on your own, go for it. Do it. Or you can just wait until tomorrow and do it right along with me. That's fine. But I encourage you to try it on your own too if you want. But yeah, if you have any questions, shoot us an email, drop us a comment. Or it is, let's see, it is Monday. So we have Zoom hours if you'd like to stop and see us at Zoom. Right. Bye, guys.